CPAC is one of the top uh, conferences for the conservatives, and it's happening very soon. And they're very proud to have Dr. Ben Carson speaking at it. You see, he's a rare African-American Republican. Yes, we got him. We got a Republican black guy on our side, and he can say all these other things against Obama and black people. We won't be called racist. It's going to be awesome. So uh, they're proud of him now, obviously, since he's speaking. They got a bio of him up on their uh, mobile app. Now, let's take a look at it. Oops. Uh, that's not Ben Carson. That's uh, Senator Tim Scott from uh, South Carolina. There are only like five black Republicans in the That's so embarrassing. If you just take one second to be like, are you sure we got the right black guy? Hey, instead of like, ah, eh, what difference does it make? We just want a black face up there to criticize other blacks. <laughs> now, of course, it's deeply embarrassing. So when they're asked about it, and caught, got caught by Ben Harris to watch the post, Ross Hevinger, the spokesperson for CPAC, says, um, it's, um, it's a Photoshop. <laughs> you clown, now why did you the post reporter? I'm not going to risk his career to do a gag on you guys. <laughs> Photoshop, you just got into your Ben Carson. It's not a Photoshop. Um, when Ben Harris was asked about it, he says, quote, I don't know anything about Photoshop. Anything about web design. He's like, oh, of course I didn't Photoshop it. I just took a screen capture, which is what I barely know how to do. And I put it up on Twitter. And so these guys are panicking, of course. So now it's obvious that it's not a Photoshop to any rational human being, but uh, they go back to Ross Hemminger on this, and he says, I've spoken with the web people who verified that it was definitely Photoshop. <laughs> Maybe, you know, he's not saying who Photoshopped it. Maybe they Photoshopped their own website. They're like, oh, this is funny. We'll take Ben Carson out, put Tim Scott in, and wait till the Washington Post catches us. <laughs> I want a gag. Oh, you guys are so embarrassing. So then Ben Terrace had to come out and put out another tweet. He says, think what you want about my quality as a journalist. I have no idea how to Photoshop. Why would he do that? Think about it rationally for one second. Why would a reporter go out there and be like, oh, I'll mess with these guys. And then if my editor catches me, I will be immediately fired. It will be so much fun. So they're not attached to reality at all. So then here comes Ben Howe. He's with Red State, and uh, he's one of their leaders over there. So, Ben, can you at least see, come on, guys, any of you out there live in the rational world, that it was, look, you just, it's not that hard to say, it was a simple mistake, that's embarrassing, man. We meant to put up this picture, we put up that picture instead. You know, it, it could have been a white guy's picture we put up by mistake. <laughs> that's not believable either, but at least say that, don't pretend that this guy photoshopped. Anyway, so, Ben, you understand that, right? Ben how tweets out, I don't even slightly believe that this isn't a photoshop. That's, that's what happens when you get untethered from reality, man. They're floating out there on another planet. And they're like, oh, yeah, man, all these reporters are out to get Bill O'Reilly, aren't they? Oh, yeah, totally. And, oh, they're always obliged to put those photoshopping black people on our websites. Yeah, totally. Hello, Earth the Conservatives. <laughs> you might want to look in the facts. It's generally helpful. <laughs> these guys all my life, they talk about the Western parts of the world and stuff. Oh, liberals, they just like to, you know, go off of emotion and feelings. <laughs> they don't live in the, you know, they don't understand cold hard facts. Facts are stubborn things, that's what Robert Reagan said, that's what the Gipper said. Right. Now, they live in a planet that doesn't even have facts. Alright, good luck to you guys.